everybody. Okay, so I'm coming to you outside right now with the California Automobile Automobile Museum. It's a big word. Uh, because they're having their first big event of the year with these little guys. We're talking about micro cars. Very cool, very interesting. Um, but for those who are unfamiliar with micro cars, uh, I'm going to have uh, Carly kind of fill us in a little bit. Uh, what makes them so unique? Obviously, they're really, really small. These yes. cars are just incredibly tiny. They're made after World War II, and they're meant to be really, really cheap to buy, cheap to operate. Everything was cheap about them. Okay, so, so the whole point with them then is to be more accessible, a uh, more accessible form of transportation during their time. Exactly. Okay. After World War II, they could help rebuild these economies, and people could afford little cars. Excellent. And we see so many people, too, kind of driving around a very similar model, I think, this day and age. Uh, I, I will be. Uh, kind of like the Mini Cooper, right? Do you think the Mini Cooper may have been inspired by these guys? Oh, the Mini Cooper is absolutely inspired, but they were actually the big cars. Those are too big to be micro cars. They're oh, too really? powerful. Holy yeah. cow. Okay, all right. So <laughs> tell us what you guys brought here then. Um, can we start with this little guy over here? He's actually pretty cute. Yes, this is a 1991 Nissan Figaro. So this is a relatively modern one, and it's got that kind of nostalgic styling that Japan was doing for their old mini micro cars. Yeah. Okay. And how many people can you fit in one of these cars? Um, this car is actually a four-seater. There is a back seat back there, but uh, Todd, the owner, is very tall, so <laughs> there's not really room back there right now. Um, but some of them, like the Multiplos, actually use as a taxi. This was in Italy. It's a 1966 Fiat. Um, so you could actually fit a number of people in here and luggage. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, Carly, that if anyone's ever spent uh, um, any time in Europe, you're probably pretty familiar with some of these models because these do seem to be a little more European, right? Yeah, European and Japanese. That's where microcars were actually popular and successful, or okay. Europe and Japan. All right. So, I mean, clearly you could fit a couple people in this mm -hmm. one. Uh, what about uh, one of these guys over here? Yeah, this is our smallest one, the 1970 Subaru 360. And these were designed for families. So they're super tiny, but they were intended to have two adults, maybe even three kids in the back seat there. This car is so cute. It looks like a little cartoon car. I swear I've seen a replica of this at maybe some of the amusement parks, right? Look how tiny those wheels are. Yeah, these are often called bubble cars sometimes because they're so cute and bubbly with the styling. That's absolutely adorable. Okay, so let's talk about the important thing here, which is gas mileage. Um, how much do you think it is to fill up on one of these? Yeah, these have really tiny tanks. Todd was actually just telling me this morning that um, it actually has a three gallon tank and uh, some of them are range between 50 up to 100 miles per gallon on some of these micro cars. You're kidding me. No. Holy cow. Yeah. So we have a huge range of them at the museum. You can see how some of them are super small. Some some of them are a little bit bigger, like the Fiat, so some okay. of them get really, really efficient. Okay, and I want to introduce Todd. You know, Carly had mentioned Todd is too tall for the first car that we uh, pointed out for you. So, Todd, come on in here. Todd is the owner of, of these cars. Todd, how did you acquire all these vehicles? Um, it's an addiction. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to check myself into the Henry Ford Clinic. It's across <laughs> from Betty Ford. Being six foot seven, I've always gravitated to the small cars, and so... <laughs> This okay. is where I ended up. <laughs> so so I imagine you, you collect these, but do you actually drive in these? Do, can you fit in these? You're six, seven. I drive them all the time. Really? If, wow. if you don't have them, you, 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 yeah. why have them if you're not going to enjoy them? So you'll see me at the grocery store, theater, whatever. Drive, drive, driving around drive your micro car. Place. That is awesome. Okay, so Jason, come on in here because uh, we want to introduce everybody to the opportunity to come out and see these themselves. Tell us about the event that's coming up at the California Automobile Museum. Yeah, this Friday from 6 to 9, we're going to have, well, we're calling this our biz biggest exhibit yet because there's 25 cars. That's a lot because they're so tiny. And so we're throwing a big party for that. Um, so it's going to be micro cars and micro beers. Uh, we have eight local breweries that are going to come out. Um, we have uh, the Milk House Milkshakes, wow. the new uh, shake place down in downtown. Um, and, and how do people attend? Do they just go to the website and buy tickets? Yeah, go to our website at uh, calautomuseum.org forward slash pint size and tickets are there. Uh, $40 for the public, $35 for members. Wonderful. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Carly. Thank you all of you for joining us here on Sack & Co. We'll see you back here tomorrow as we bring value home at 9 a.m. Enjoy your micro cars. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.